guys, PC and AJ here. My name is Sergey, and I'm really happy to see you all here again. And yes, I'm in Chinese hospital. If you want to know how hospitals are basically set up in China and what they look like, please watch this video till the end and also show you around. I'll tell you a little bit more why I'm here and why these guys are behind me because I cannot walk without their support. Good morning. A guy who took me for the different types of analysis. Uh, there is a cardiology, checking x-ray, something that I don't know, but the guy just took me, I don't understand quite well what he's talking about sometimes, but I just follow him, and he basically leads me from one room to another room, and I just follow, <laughs> that's how it works, today I have a surgery, I'm getting ready, could not eat breakfast, could not eat anything, only drink, but at least I had my coffee, but this is my guy. Following him, whatever he says, <laughs> uh, very busy. This is the hospital, actually quite more than one, uh, and considered to be a good one, but so popular. I don't know why, because it's it's not the cheapest one, it's very far from the cheapest one. But, uh, and most of the hospitals are quite modern here in China, but uh, many of them are old because they're just overused. This one is not as overused as many others, however, still so many people are here. Uh, look at this one. This is the main hall. Main hall. Uh, even the coffee shop there, registration counter, uh, a special counter for the pharmacy. Okay, guys almost time for my surgery uh, I'm taking some medicines now it's gonna be in one hour I wanted to show you room first this is actually room for three people Got one personal room but there's a big line for those rooms and I didn't want to wait for the surgery I wanted it to be fixed as soon as possible so I decided okay I'm not gonna wait it's gonna be fine for me My surgery has been finished one hour ago. I'm slowly waking up and you know anesthesia was one of the things that I was afraid of mostly because I remember last time around 12 years ago I had a bad one uh, with great hangover that basically last for four hours or something but here just woke up after a, a long dream or something and there is no any negative feeling about it. My surgery duration was two hours, uh, sorry was three, five hours however it was planned to be two hours. I'm not sure what happened but I believe something took it longer I will ask doctor later. Over the breakfast places is the canteen that is located on the first floor. It actually has a very fancy name here, restaurant, but it's not. It's a canteen where you can buy different stuff. So, uh, and they have food for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Uh, now it's morning time and I'm trying to get my breakfast ready. Uh, I have bought something already. I bought a sandwich in another store which is, um, I don't know, like 800 meters from here. So it was a lot of walking. The sandwich without any Chinese traditional ingredients that I don't like. But they have something like sweet pork floss. 
They add it everywhere, in sandwiches, in bakery, they add it to different types of pastry and I hate it. I'm going to check what they have in, in canteen and hopefully get something from there. So here what they have for breakfast. Some radish marinated and cooked, then omelette, then some lettuce, steamed noodles, uh, porridge, different types of porridge, porridge with omelette, and, uh, tomato, and uh, it's quite challenging to eat any of those for me. It's okay actually, but I don't like them. So, uh, <laughs> The result of my morning hunt for breakfast, I have uh, two eggs, I have nice flat white coffee, my very one, I have a cake, chocolate cake, I have a sandwich which may be surprised for me what is inside but it says that it is the chicken hopefully it's not uh, it's not too hot or spicy or something but it looks promising so for all my breakfast i spent 50 yuan which is around seven us dollars here's the main hall where the main entrance is so basically it includes the registration counter area there are many counters here uh, where people get into electronic line and register for the services they need and also the pharmacy area for the pharmacy area uh, any medicines that are prescribed by the doctors can be cut there uh, when you show your personal account or number uh, here at the second floor some kind of balcony there is some coffee shop I would like to check as well because I haven't been there so the first uh, registration area actually uh, people there they do not speak English and it's always a bit challenging for me to get registered but I always use Baidu translator or I use uh, Google translator but it can be used only with VPN on however now there are some problems with VPN if you do that you always can register and explain what you need and there is not big deal to sign up for any kind of service additionally uh, with my insurance uh, card I have a kind of a leaflet that can help me to just to tick the service I need like it, it has English and Chinese translations line registration yeah it's not clear but you just push this one and you have a paper which then can be found over there on this top below on every counter or on the screen I scan my code or it says without the request it should go directly to the window fine I don't need this uh, little ticket I can get them directly this is the other building building B and here you can see the area where the people are registering for the inpatient service so basically it's admission service this is how they call it uh, on the first floor and when they register, when they get all the papers done, when especially they need a COVID test, 48 hours valid result of COVID test. Uh, otherwise, they cannot be accepted. Then they just take to this elevator, whatever the floor is. My floor is number six. And go to the floors. In here, we have these liking coffee cafe uh, it's very convenient I always can get downstairs and have my coffee in the morning nice mostly works for pickup and delivery however has some tables oh, this is the area which is my favorite in this hospital where I can come drink some coffee maybe eat some they have something like scones 
with chocolate chips which I like pretty much but I'm trying to avoid eating too much especially while I cannot move a lot I have a goal to get a good sport diet and to have more focus on the upper body part even to lose some weight and to gain some muscle weight at least in the upper part because you know lower part is not an option for me now the hospital is also quite convenient in terms of the staying here for example there are some restaurants available where you can have lunch or dinner or whatever and there is a quite good choice by the way I'm going to the ground floor as you see there is some marketing about maternity uh, it's a very popular service of uh, support in giving birth in China and then recovery after giving birth and, and there are really some strange traditions about that I will tell you about it later because there are some really weird old-fashioned traditions at the store where you can buy all the necessary supplies for you like chocolate, drinks, some food, snacks, uh, ice cream, even coffee machine this is what they have also glasses store and uh, other shops like food shops uh, so many different things that you basically can accept in a very short distance yeah so quite convenient to stay and live here uh, however I don't suggest you to live in the hospital in hospital this place this is a whole food court here even like KFC coffee is available uh, even some local type of burgers they're called Moss burgers and dumplings basically any type of food that you can imagine one of the proper options is so-called malatan it's basically a soup uh, which is boiled with all the ingredients you choose you select here all the ingredients then you select the type of soup and they boil, boil all the ingredients including the noodles and the price is 2.298 yuan per, per 50 gram which is roughly half dollar per 50 gram you see yeah it's a good option quite healthy uh, and quick and when you basically are tired of any type of food it always can be a solution because you mix everything by yourself you take this type of bowl you take uh, this tool to help yourself with all the ingredients you put them all together and the lady uh, put everything in your soup boil it a little bit and it's ready to go definitely some options available here uh, you have the beef soup you have some rice, you have burgers, you have uh, other types of noodles with soup and then all uh, there you have Beijing duck or Guangdong chicken so a lot of things a lot of nice things and tasty ones to try even in the hospital I'm not hungry now but tomorrow or maybe tonight yeah tonight for dinner I will try something here definitely uh, I didn't know that there were so many options around and I was always eating uh, something from canteen which is like doesn't have so much variety it's dinner time for me so I decided to go for and for three dollars I ordered dish three dollars a little bit less it's basically 2.8 dollars I think plus so it's chicken leg plus rice plus peanuts plus some soy uh, broccoli and some soup with seaweed also koi which is one of the most popular chains of the tea uh, and drinks stores here in Fujian province 
then some waffle store and bread store also you can pick up something for a snack then some other small stores where you can get something nice to eat or drink look I really found something cool this is the haircut salon isn't it cool so you basically can just have your haircut right in the hospital I think it's great maybe I will consider to come over tomorrow in the morning Yeah. <laughs> so this is the area with all the restaurants supermarkets stores food shops and uh, what surprised me most of all I found a haircut salon there so basically some people are going here to have a haircut uh, while they're staying in the hospital what else I found because some children unfortunately have to stay for a long time in hospitals uh, there's uh, there are students classrooms so the classrooms where uh, volunteers are helping kids who stay here to study while they're staying here because some kids are really staying here for a long time for example three months six months yeah unfortunately it happens and then there is some support for those kids also those rooms as I was told were used for the interns uh, because interns still continue their study here study and practice as well so uh, the hospital has some classrooms for them let me show you my floor first unfortunately I cannot record and move around at the same time because of, I use crutches uh, these things it looks like normal hospital however for China it's quite a modern one this is the entrance uh, now I'm going to show you the registration area a counter of registration and other areas registration area counter where nurses are which are very helpful they help a lot actually always on the call always ready to help you always ready to support this is our room the usual room is for three people as you can see there is nobody here except for me now uh, unfortunately one person room my individual room was not available there's a big line for this type of rooms and for VIP rooms as well so you need to really queue to make sure that you can get one but I didn't want to I decided that I needed uh, my surgery as soon as possible so that's why I'm here in, in a room with, with two more people but actually it doesn't bother me too much it's okay absolutely the best what we have on our floor is the view uh, this is the sixth floor and the view is on the seaside which is very beautiful look at this view however I'm not sure why they didn't put any sofas here or made it a waiting or meeting zone uh, for patients with their relatives here's the place where we can get water and uh, this is the water machine here hot or cold a sink and also this one is the ice generator so if I want whiskey and cola for example I can pretty much get it this is how the uniform looks I've just changed new one a very cute nice uh, yeah, it's actually not bad it's very comfortable it's very light and you almost don't feel it best thing Maybe you notice this one, this machine. It's actually very cool, it's connected to my veins. And every hour it injects uh, 0 0.7 milliliters of the painkiller. Actually, if I want to have some more, I just push this little button here. 
and it injects more and it's really easy to make me happy and enjoy the day or enjoy the night then I have little shorts here as well you see yeah quite sexy to make sure that it's easy to take off and it's not so easy to put them on actually but I can handle this already I already got some experience This is me. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully to see you later again. Subscribe for my channel if you like it or if you like any type of content it's about China. I will be happy if you subscribe or if you like this video as well. Uh, and what makes me happy is you being notified about the new video coming. So please uh, notify yourself. It will be very convenient for you to watch video more and more. Uh, this video is done for you so I'm really grateful for you to subscribe to my channel and uh, this is only because of you I am still keeping recording those videos and showing you around in China. That was Busy in Asia, see you next time.